yes winter's back how are you all doing so in this video we will be installing this and hopefully the shock absorber rebuilding the rear end so let's get re re so let's get re re so let's get re re ending re, -end re, -re ending yeah let's go and do that Right then, I've checked all the uh, bearings, checked all the uh, bushes with my Sergeant Caluso magnifying glass and my very bright inspection light and all seems to be okay so that saved me a few pennies so let's get back to it. <laughs> Okay, let's get everything greased up. Put plenty of grease on the uh, needle bearings. Same on the other side. Then the right hand bush. Inside. Plenty outside. Set that into the seal and we can grease the long tube so we decide the more the better and grease the outside all over Like so, then we can push the messy thing in from the uh, left hand side. Make sure it goes all the way in. Don't push the other end out. Here we go. Push all this grease back in. Then we can grease the uh, longer left hand side or off side. Do the inside as well. Pretty messy. And push that in. Right, so the swing arm is a bit heavy, so hopefully I'm going to use my trolley stall to help me install it. This is a good idea. <laughs> now rest that on me. And push it down there. Carefully. Should slot into the slots. Come on baby. It's in. Let's get the bolt. Right then, it's in. But I'm going to have to pull it back out again. Because I thought before I put the bolt in, I'll just check the bulk. There's the swing arm and all the fixings. And there's that bit there. Did we fit that? No, we didn't. Now let me pull that out. Don't find that piece. I'm going to start again. Can we get it out? No. <laughs> it went in, but it doesn't want to come back out. Not without scratching something. Be very careful. anything oh we have now 
Okay, here we are, all cleaned up. Not too bad. And it took two hours to find, and another four hours to clean up. Let's see if we can fit it the right way. Okay, so I know it goes this side because of that little lippy creasy thing. And uh, that must go under the little lippy creasy thing, so that must go sort of like that. There's a little split on the top, with a little spike on the top. So that must go in the little spike. Goes in there like that. The this must go underneath there. Nope, I don't think that's what I do. <laughs> no. Come on mate, stop messing about. Goes that way round. That goes in there. And then that goes over there. And that goes under there. That looks better, doesn't it? Right, let's get back to where we was four hours ago. Okay, let's try to get the greasy bolt in. Now we're back where we was. Okay, here goes. Might have to whittle the swing arm a bit. Not sure where it's lining up. Try and line it up from the other side with a paintbrush. Yeah that side's going in. But this side's not to... Uh... Come on Swingy, play the game. It needs to go up a bit. That's it. Try again. Gotcha. So let's get rid of that excess grease and nut it. Let's re nut it. Let's do it finger tight. Okay, let's get my stool back so I can sit down. How does that feel? Whoa, pretty good. Feels pretty nice, man. Perfectly splendor. Right, let's get the torque set in for the nut. The bed. We can go and find the shock and put all that on. Shocking. Okay then, so the nut is 19 mil. And on the other side, the bolt, It's only 17 mil. Oh, I've lost one of my bolts. One of my bolts. One of my sockets. Cool, found it. Okay, the torque wrench setting on this bolt is very tight. It is 80 foot pounds per square inch. Cool. It's going to be hard work, isn't it? I'll put that one on there. Oh, don't scratch anything. 
take your time and no rush. extension ball on my long torque wrench. Oh there it goes. Whew. That was old work. 80 foot pan. Yes. Is it still nice and free? Oh yes. Beautiful. So I only played it back to front, back to front, side to side. Nothing whatsoever. Ooh, beautiful. Oh. Right then, so I found the uh, rear shock. Let's see if we can install it the right way. First time. Okay, so first I'm going to remove all the bushes, give them a good greasing, and then we can attempt to fit it. Okay, so we're going to install the knuckle first. The knuckle. Uh, I don't know how much you can see on this camera with the light, so I'll put a GoPro underneath. Okay, so there's no real pictures in the manual, but I'm thinking it's going this way with that bit to the front. So, let's whack that up there. Through there. Here we go. Take the excess crease off there. Let me try and get the nut on there. There we go. First piece of this puzzle. Now, then, what next? I think this piece goes into the frame. Just there. And then connects to here. Uh, do I put the shock in first or do I put the shock in last? Shock in. Anyway, let's go for this piece. Okay then, let's uh, go for it. Just uh, push that into there. <laughs> to there. Bloody scratch there, look. And I think that goes on to there like that. And then the shock goes in. So let's get the bolt greased up for that bit. Right then. Let's get the bolt in. Put that baby there. Oop. Not as easy as it looks. There we go, hold that bit. Bolt row there. Oh. Put the nut on there. Like 
like so, and that means the shot must go onto this bit and the uh, frame up there. Okay, then let's uh, move this stool out of the way. <coughs> Drop it down. Okay, so we've got to push the shot down there. I uh, don't really want to scratch anything. Stick that in there. Okay, then carefully drop that. Down there. Don't think we can, can we? Don't think we're going to do it. A bit of jiggery pokery. Yeah, then I'll wiggle the swing on. Might go under there. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Nothing's happening. It's getting worse. Oh. Let's have a look down here. What were you actually uh, touching on? Right, so if I take this dog leg bolt out hopefully it'll go round I don't know if you can see on the rear but uh, it's pretty dark I'm just pulling this bolt back out so I can drop this dog leg down and then hopefully that shock all fall into place. If not, this is all going to be shocking. Oh, oh, out. That swing round. Bed. Hopefully, you can go down there. Better up down here, I can't see for cool. Nope, I'm gonna to have to try and get up somehow, but I can't because I can't lose the weight of this shock. <laughs> oh my god. What a position. I'm stuck. Can't let go of the shock. And I can't get up because I've got no leverage. Good here. What a nightmare. There we go. Let's get the bolt in. That's the dog bolt in. Now I've got to go back down the bottom. So be with me while I set all the cameras up again. Right then. Hello. Let's see if we can get this bottom bolt in. Okay, so that's got to go into there. Try and balance it on my leg. There's the bolt. There's the bolt. Try and get it lined up. Bolt through. <laughs> Put that nut on. We've just got to get this uh, dog leg thing back in. Wishbone thing or whatever it's bloody called. Where's the bolt? It is. Push that through there. Let's put the nut on there. And there we go. Now I've got to tighten everything up. So let's get the torque wrench out again. Can you see me? And uh, 
talk them all down. I'm sure we can convince them. Right then, so it looks like all the bolts are 33 foot pounds and all the uh, nuts and bolts are 14 millimeter. So let's try the first one. It's got a long way to go in. One click at a time. Oops, I should have put it down there in the first place. Oh, don't seem very much, does it? 33 foot pan. So, that's the first one. This is what I'm going by. Look, uh, rear shock absorber, mount bolt, 1000 models, blah 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 blah. 33 pounds per square inch. And on the 600 model, it's 40 pounds per square inch. A bit weird. And all the other bolts are 33 foot pound. So, must be right. Let's carry on. Okay, all set up. Let's get down the bottom. And I put my spanner on the other side. Uh, let's do, the, do this one first, which you can see. So I've just got to use my little socket to get it all tightened up. Because it took ages with this great big thing. I will just uh, pinch them all up with this. Okay, that's that one. Do the bottom board. To scratch anything, Johnny. Here we are. That's the top one. Go to the middle one. What I'm doing is tightening it up with the uh, spanner because I've got no clicks when I lift this up. If you know what I mean. So clicks on the ratchet. Get that nice and tight and then go for this one. <sighs> See it's not clicking. So I'll have to adjust the spanner, push it down again. Then when I lift this hopefully it'll click. There we go. That's number two. Where's the last one? Where is the last one? I can't see it from back here. No, it's not the last one, there's still one more up the top there. But there's that one. Get onto that one. See if it clicks. There we go. That's that one. Then there's one more. Just there. And then that's the last one. So we've got plenty of touching up to do, Johnny. Lots of touching up. Good job it's a female bike, isn't it? Okay, can we get the socket in there? There we go. 
sock, get the socket in there. Oh. No, no. Where are you? There you are. Start it up with this one. Then I get the wrench in there now. Nope. It's going to be fun, isn't it? How are you going to torque that one? I'll try it on the other side. Put that on there and put the torque wrench on the other side, if it fits. Is it going to fit? Yeah, I've got a thick oh yeah. I don't think I've got a smaller socket. Oh, it's gone on. Just. One click at a time. Come on. This time. Yes. So that's all done, swing arm, shocking, yes, absolutely shocking. So there you go, hope you enjoyed the video, hope it's been of some use to people who's doing the CBR1000F. Thank you very much for everybody who commented on the last video, I do appreciate it, it just shows to me that there is somebody out there on the other side of the camera, and it's not just me uh, sharing it to myself and my camera. So yeah, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. See you later. See you in another life, brother.